All right, so here is the bald eagle nestling. Yes, you can't see him too well because um, his head is being blocked by the trees. But, you know, what you're going to do? Oh, sorry about that. All right, so yeah, this is all unedited, as I always do. Um, so sorry. Ooh, that really messed things up now. Yeah, so you can take a look at where I am, okay? All right, hello everybody, it's me. Um, this is actually the last week that we'll be able to see this bald eagle nestling, because I'm going to be moving to Georgia on Friday. Yes, that is the official day that we plan on leaving. Or, I'm sorry, Saturday, actually. Didn't mean to say Friday. Friday would be the last day for me to film this bald eagle. Yes, there. Crap. Man, having so many problems with this camera. The less I use this camera, the more it doesn't cooperate with me. See, look. Yeah, I don't like this tripod one little bit. If I can just get a good close up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. It's a nice looking bald eagle right there. So that's it. Okay, yep. Um, I was almost at the max on optical zoom. Now I'm using digital zoom. Yeah, so as you can see, he's keeping shade under these trees because he wants to make sure that he keeps his head cool. Makes sense, right? Alright, so that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I really just wanted to get a good close-up of him. Yeah, I do apologize um, if the leaves are not so great. Yeah, so um, about this weekend, um, so I haven't gotten any bald eagle footage for a while, and the reason for that is I didn't see him on Saturday. Okay, I, I heard I heard peeping noises though, so I knew that he was out there somewhere, like well be probably well beyond the nest because the sounds were a little bit faint. So he was probably like twice as far away as he is right now. And then on Sunday and Monday, I actually went to the shore. And I went swimming in the ocean. And it was very warm. It was like 80 degrees in the ocean. Because it was like 98 degrees on Sunday. And with the heat index it actually felt like it was 103 degrees I actually looked at the thermostat in my car and it actually said 98 degrees when I got there when I arrived at um, Asbury Park so I went to Asbury Park the first what was it was it Point Pleasant or Asbury Park I believe it was at Asbury Park and then the next day I went to Seaside Heights. I was going to collect some tokens, or um, not tokens, but points that I collected on, um, on an arcade. And I had a whole bunch of points collected from like 1995. And I still have them in, in a, a plastic bag. But since I'm going to be leaving, I guess I'll just collect them. Because I didn't see any good prizes to redeem them for. It's like, you have to like spend like a million points just to win an Xbox. But, I've only got like 60,000 points. And like, most of the points are like less than a thousand. Which is like, a, a, you can get like a candy bar for like 200 points. So some of the prizes might be worth it. It depends on how much money you spent to get those points. I spent $17 to get 6,000 something points the other day, which is not too shabby at all. But I, um, 
I just got really lucky that day. <laughs> but it's not like gambling at a casino. Like, I'd rather gamble and win actual money rather than just win tokens and points. This bald eagle's looking extremely good. Train coming. I'm really tempted to record this bald eagle longer than usual today. If he sticks around. By the way, if you hear me eating, I'm um, eating some caramel popcorn. Yeah, feeling hot, huh? Yeah, that's what birds do when they're hot. They pant their beak. <laughs> yeah, you thought those leaves would keep you cool, but I guess not, huh? Hmm. I see you blinking your eyes there.
I'm gonna look further down this bald eagle right here. Yeah, you see what I'm doing. Hmm. Talon's looking really sharp. Ooh, got a scratch. Preening up his neck feathers there. All right, that's good. Hmm. Oh, what's going on? Is he going to take off? Oh, he went. Probably going to take off. No, don't want to take off just yet. Hmm. <laughs> I was almost thinking that you were going to. The way he almost has his wings almost spread out just really makes me think that he's going to fly off. Point this up just a little bit. Oh, uh oh. What's going on now? I think I'll keep it right there for now. Okay, let's go ahead and get that close-up that we want to hear, get here. 
because everybody likes a good close-up. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, he's looking at me. He's looking directly at me. Oh, uh-oh. What's going on now? Now he's facing away from me. Which is okay. Hey, if you don't want to look at me, hey, that's perfectly okay with me. Yeah, I'm still going to record this thing, even um, even though he does have his back turned. Maybe some good footage will come out of it. You just never know. I'm just going to keep the camera just like that. I'm not going to try to adjust it or anything like that. And... Yeah, there's a tree branch that's sort of blocking the view a little bit. But amazingly enough, the focus is still incredible right now. Wow, he's really not doing anything. Hmm. Well, I'll still keep watching him. You just never know. Because they always say as soon as you hit that stop button, <laughs> something always happens. Something always happens. So I'll just stay right here.
train a coming. Yeah, I don't really see that eagle turning his head or anything. I'm almost thinking that he's sleeping. Taking a little day nap, huh? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I don't know for sure, but you might be. Hmm. Or maybe there's the possibility that he's standing still because he's filled up recently, yes. As in, he's eaten something and is full. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's hunting on his own yet. I don't hear the other eagles. Or at least I didn't hear them even as I was walking into the forest. I probably wouldn't be able to hear them from that far away anyways, because it's like a mile and a half to the parking lot.
that's just the game I'm playing. Yeah, I'm playing on my phone while I'm filming this majestic bald eagle fledgling. Oh, here comes train, 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 train. For a fact, this bald eagle is not going to be doing anything. I've only got 50 seconds left, and there's a little something, a little present I want to give to this bald eagle before I go. It's actually inside this plastic bag right here that I'm holding right here, and it is a sandwich. All right. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much time. Um, so yeah, you're gonna see me unwrap this sandwich here, which is like all warm by now. And I'm just going to set it. I'm just gonna set it right here. All right, bon appetit. <laughs> see ya.